Greetings, my Legionnaires! Today I bring you thoughts on my most recent encounter with a flashy and stylistic foe, Kingsman the Golden Circle. A sequel to the 2014 hit, this outing aims to recapture the magic of its predecessor. Does it succeed? Well, I'll tell you all that and more in my tactical report, which will also include a brief, spoiler-free plot synopsis, the highlights, and the shortcomings. Kingsman 2 picks up shortly after the first film, with our main hero Eggsy living the life of a British super spy. Unfortunately for our protagonist, a previous Kingsman dropout assaults him with the goal of dismantling the entire spy ring. With nowhere else to turn, Eggsy, alongside Merlin, head to Kentucky to enlist the aid of the Statesman, another independent spy organization tasked with safeguarding the planet. Now, it's up to both agencies to thwart the nefarious Poppy as she attempts to hold millions hostage to further her own twisted agenda. Let's begin as we always do with what makes this particular foe stand out. First and foremost is the ever-prevalent sharp style of the picture. The suits, the sets, and even the glasses all feel like a combination of modern meets retro that really makes each scene feel unique to the franchise. This even translates to the hectic fight scenes which are overall a sight to behold. Although many things can be occurring at any given moment in a scuffle, the viewer is never lost as to what is happening, which is quite an achievement. One really fun aspect of the film is Eggsy's relationship with his girlfriend Tildy, who happens to be a Swedish princess he saved from his initial world-saving outing. Typically in a spy-style flick, the protagonist doesn't have a real relationship with anyone over the course of more than one film. Seeing him not only continue this romance with her, but actively think of her on mission makes him feel much more realistic and relatable. Finally, the cast is exceptional, with Colin Firth once again taking top prize. His presence and even keel nature is perfect for the role of Galahad. I truly can't get enough of him. Julianne Moore does a good job of following in Samuel L. Jackson's footsteps of being an eccentric villain as well. Her base of operations alone is such a fun concept that feels like it was ripped right out of the 50s. Sadly, Kingsman suffers from a myriad of issues, the biggest of which is that it feels like a beat-for-beat -beat retread of the first film. Nods to previous iterations are one thing that reward viewers for being loyal to a franchise, but here we see the same scenes and some of the same set pieces that feel overtly familiar. For example, they recreate the scene from the first film where Galahad teaches some ruffians at the bar some manners. Although he sets up the fight with the same dialogue from the first film, this time he's unable to scrum due to a loss of coordination. This leads the statesman Whiskey to step in to show off his particular set of skills. It feels lazy and uninspired. Save that sort of thing for a third movie as a sort of distant callback instead. Also, the film goes way too over the top in its premise, plot, and lengths to fulfill the mission. The villain's evil plans and the ways to combat those plans are beyond absurd. I haven't openly scoffed at a movie in a while, but I did so on a few occasions here. It truly borders on ridiculous and really rips you out of any fun the movie tries to provide. This might be the most depressing thing about it. Kingsman 2 doesn't know if it wants to be a fun action romp or a stressful commentary on society. Either way, it fails at both. Also, the CGI is horrendous. The beginning car chase alone is plumb full of it, but the use of it is prevalent throughout the picture. Lastly, while I really enjoyed the cast, some of them were criminally underutilized. Channing Tatum and Jeff Bridges are both excellent additions to this universe, but they're sidelined for a majority of the film. Hopefully, they'll get a chance to shine more so in a potential follow-up or spin-off. Overall, Kingsman the Golden Circle is truly a mixed bag. While the cast is wonderful, the style is ever-present, and the fight scenes are slick, the constant retreading of the first edition, the desperate attempts to one-up itself to the point of being absolutely ludicrous, and an overabundant use of sloppy CGI means you should think twice before heading out to see this one. Legionnaires, agree with my review? Let me know in the comments below. Also, feel free to like and subscribe to see more reviews like this one. If you really want to help out the channel, consider sharing this with a friend, or check us out on patreon.com slash critical reviews to help fund our glorious campaign. Thanks for stopping by, and remember to adapt and overcome.